The FTSE 100 index comprises the 100 largest companies trading on the London Stock Exchange, while the FTSE 250 index comprises the next 250 largest companies. And together, both these indices cover the largest 350 companies listed in London. The foremost distinction between the two UK indices is their total market capitalization. As of the 29th of February, the total market cap of the FTSE 100 index stands at £1.98 trillion, while the FTSE 250 index's market cap stands at just £376.82 The constituents of the former are large cap blue chip firms like Lloyds and Vodafone. And on the flip side, the constituents of the FTSE 250 are mostly mid-cap companies like Sentiment and Currys. Generally, the volatility of large-cap stocks is comparatively less than the mid-ones. Although, while mid-cap stocks may not hold their dominant positions in their respective industries, they have the potential for higher growth. But when market sentiment is bearish, investors usually move towards the FTSE 100 stocks as they're more defensive. For investors looking at diversified stocks, the FTSE 250 index is a better pick as it comprises stocks from a range of sectors, unlike the FTSE 100, which is mostly limited on sectors including healthcare, financial services and energy. Plus, the top three companies of the FTSE 100 account for about 20% of the total market cap of the index. And while this figure stands at around 4%, for the FTSE 250. Another difference between the two indices is that around 50% of the total revenue generated by the 250 comes from overseas, while this figure stands at 70% for the 100 stocks. Plus, the FTSE 100 companies have a solid footprint internationally, while the 250 counterparts are more strongly associated with the UK economy. Foreign exchange markets also have a lesser impact on the FTSE 250 stocks as they don't have as much global presence. However, the FTSE 100 stocks are usually affected when the sterling weakens as the cost of exporting declines. What's more, the 100 stocks generally pay out higher dividends to shareholders as compared to the FTSE 250. Based on market capitalization, the top three FTSE 100 stocks as the 29th of April are Shell, AstraZeneca and HSBC Holdings with market cap of 164 billion, 163 and 99 billion pounds respectively. As for the FTSE 250 index, the top three companies include Centrica, Unite Group and Harbour Energy with a market cap of 4.7, 4.6 and 4.6 again billion. Now they're up to speed, hit that bell icon to stay up to date and boost your financial IQ. I'm Holly Shields for Carpen Media.